Welcome to Ontario One Call's tutorial series. By the end of this video, you'll be able to clearly identify and show exactly where you want to dig by outlining your digging area on the map. To get to this step, you'll need to navigate to the web portal, log in, and complete all other previous steps. Click on the link above to watch our previous episodes. Once all other previous steps have been completed, scroll down and click on Step 2, Dig Location. Use this space to provide your dig location. As you type, the system will automatically try to find the correct address. Make sure to select the correct location from the drop-down and read the full address, including the city name. Some street names or addresses may be found in different municipalities. Make sure to verify that the correct location has been identified before selecting it from the drop-down. The map will refresh and go to the location you requested. If a civic number is provided, a pin will drop on the map. As no address was provided in this instance, no pin will appear. Hold down the mouse button and drag the map to move around. The zoom buttons allow you to zoom in and out to get a clearer picture of specific areas on the map. If you would like to check your location, click and drag the orange pegman onto the map. This will give you a street view of the area. This is a measuring tool. It will help you measure distances in either feet or meters. Please note, this tool is not a drawing tool. Therefore, it will not actually select anything on the map. Click once to start measuring from one point to another. If you need to change direction, such as measuring a curve, click a second time to create an anchor point. To stop measuring, double click. Once your measurements are placed, you can click and drag them around to the correct location. You can also edit your measurements. The A is a label tool. You can use this tool to put labels and messages down on the map. The pencil tool allows you to make a selection on the map. Selecting your dig area on the map is required, and it is the best way to show where you want to dig. There are two ways to make a selection. You can draw on the map manually using the Area Draw tool, or draw a circle using one of the following tools, such as the Draw a Tree, Draw a Borehole, Draw a Pole, or Draw another Location tool. The Area Draw tool allows you to make a selection on the map. Select the area where you want to dig. To start your selection, Click once on the map near the area you want to dig. Continue connecting the anchor points until you have the desired area surrounded. Double click to end your selection. Remember to only select the area where you will be digging. Avoid excessively large map selections. Next, give it a label, such as the kind of work you want to do in this area. You must also provide a start date for each map selection you create. If you have a large job, with parts of the job starting at different times, show that by selecting the appropriate start date on each map selection. If you need to create more than one map selection, you can continue by clicking Draw Another. Otherwise, click Save and Close. The Circle Drawing tool allows you to make a circular selection on the map. Click once on the map in the area around which you want to dig. Then give it a label, such as the kind of work you want to do in this area as well as provide a start date for the dig area selected. If you need to create more than one map selection, you can continue by clicking Draw Another. Otherwise, click Save and Close. The Eraser tool removes any unwanted markings on the map. You can erase drawings and measurements with these two tools. If you would like to erase all drawings, click on the Erase Drawings tool. If you would like to erase all measurements, click on the Erase Measurements tool. To remove a specific item on the map, simply click on it and then click Delete. Sometimes, when making a map selection, the system will confirm which address you're digging on, especially if it thinks you're getting close to another property. Click Select for the address or addresses on which you are digging. When you're happy with your map, click on the Attach Your Map Selection. You can view and download your map, delete your map if there's a mistake, 
or if you've made multiple map selections. You can also remove them all with the click of a button. At least one map must be attached to your locate request in order for it to be successfully processed. You may also attach your own sketches or files in addition to your map selection. Sketches can be extremely helpful for locate providers when responding to your locate request. To attach a sketch, click on Attach Your File. Select the sketch you would like to attach. Remember, your sketch is not a replacement for your map selection. A map selection is always required, but your sketch is just recommended. To learn more on how to create a locate request, please click on our next video. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to solutions at ontariooncall.ca.